With LSU spring football practice getting underway this week, and depending when you're watching this video, it may have already started, maybe deep into camp. But I want to take a few minutes and talk about the position that we spend the majority of our time talking about. That's the quarterback position. And with a wide open competition starting now in spring practice, now is a good time to go through each candidate and look at what each candidate has done in the past and what they bring to the table and how they could potentially fit into Mike Denbrock's system. Uh, system. I'll support Mike Denbrock. And real quick, before we keep diving into it, if, you, if we just put out a video over Mike Denbrock's offensive system. So if you kind of want a deep dive of what that system could potentially look like and what it's looked like in the past at Cincinnati, I'll link that in the what, comments below, the description below. Uh, and if you want to check that out, feel free to check that out. But let's go ahead and talk about the quarterback competition. Let's start with the transfer from Arizona State, Jaden Daniels. And while he's thought to be the favorite from, from at least what I can tell from fans and people talking, I don't think it's his job to lose by any means. I think it's a wide open competition. I think it's going to be a tough competition. I just think adding him to the room definitely made the quarterback room better, but I don't think it's it's his job to lose by any means. But the past few years, Jaden Dale starting as a freshman in 2019, then 2020 started about four or five games that had that COVID year. Then last year was when he kind of struggled. But 2019 was when he was playing like a future NFL draft pick. He had 17 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Really did a good job keeping care of taking care of the football. Yards per attempt were 8.7, so pushed the ball downfield. And uh, then 2021 rolls around and things kind of change, right? Yards per attempt almost down by a yard. Uh, but the biggest thing were the 10, only 10 passing touchdowns and the 10 interceptions, right? So not taking care of the football. And again, we've we've kind of done a deep dive on Daniels, and we have some video breakdown on Daniels, and I'll link that again in the, in the description if you want to check that out. But the quick takeaways with Daniels is he does have experience, right? He has three years, we'll say two and a half years starting because of the COVID year. He does have experience. He has, has a versatile uh, tool set, very versatile set of skills, uh, somewhat similar to Desmond Ritter, right? He's an athletic quarterback, can push the ball downfield, but he can also fit into a multiple different styles of offenses. So I think that's an attractive thing with Jaden Daniels. But at the same time, that doesn't give him an advantage by necessarily by any means, but I do think the experience factor, uh, the ability to be versatile, and the ability to use his legs, uh, which you know in today's age you, you need to have at least some mobility in the pocket. I think that bodes well for him to at least you know be in a position to potentially pull himself away. So Jaden Daniels, big takeaways: experience, the potential is there. It's just getting back to that 2019 form. Next let's, next, let's talk about quarterback Miles Brennan. And even though he's been there the longest, I'm not sure, what, what, is, this, is this his fourth, fifth year in college, something, like, something along those lines? He's only had three starting opportunities, I believe. That was in 2020. But in those starts, he played pretty damn well, right? Against Mississippi State in his first start. Uh, had three touchdowns, two picks, but still had 345 yards in the air. Against Vanderbilt, 23 of 37. Four touchdowns, one pick, 337 yards in the air. And then against Mizzou, which the clips were watching, was 29 of 48, 430 yards in the air, four touchdowns, no pick. So even though he doesn't have experience playing, he has experience being a college quarterback. Uh, his biggest thing is just can he stay healthy? And as of the past few years, he has not been able to. But you can see from the clips we're watching, his ability to stand within the pocket. He's tough. He's played through injuries, take a hit, push the ball downfield. Uh, I do think that there is potential for Miles Brennan. Um, but at the same time, staying healthy is Miles Brennan. Uh, number one priority uh, from camp through fall, whoever it may be. But if he's healthy, he's a service of a quarterback. Uh, he's shown to be a service of a quarterback uh, the past, whenever he's had the opportunities. Next, let's talk about Garrett Nussmeyer, um, the freshman quarterback. Or I guess he's he going to be a redshirt freshman, technically, I believe. But last year, he, he got some playing times, uh, especially, specifically in the Arkansas game, which we're watching some clips now. And he's more of a, God, I hate using the Johnny Manziel comparison. That's kind of his style of play, right? Able to make some plays with his legs, roll, roll out of the pocket. Uh, when things bro break down, he's able to, uh, you know, make a play with his legs and push the ball downfield. Excuse me. So last year, he, he got his extended playing time against Arkansas. It was 18 to 31, a buck 79 in the air, one touchdown. Two picks, 5.8 yards per attempt. All right, right? Yeah, I believe so. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but you see, you see the mobility factor, but you also see the experience taking some sacks here. But Garrett Nussmeyer is maybe my dark horse. He's a quarterback that I like. I like his school, his skill set. I think he can fit into what Denbrock has done in the past. It's just going to continue to learn and grow. Uh, but I think he's a potential dark horse candidate to at some point take over. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong and maybe I'm an idiot, but... 
I like his skill set. It's just being able to develop and grow and build on the, the limited playing time that he had as a freshman. But big takeaways from Nussmeier, he's an athletic quarterback. He makes those fun, flashy plays, but it's just doing the simple things and being consistent with it. Next, let's talk to the last candidate and the, and the guy that's probably not going to be the starting quarterback this year, but is definitely part of the future. That's Walker Howard, the incoming freshman, who I don't even know if he's if he's at camp right now, and I probably should have the fact I'm making a video uh, about this. But regardless if he's in spring ball or not, uh, I, I think I'll remember here that you know they, they, they seem to be totally okay with taking a redshirt year and just learning and growing. I think that's probably the best option because he gets a year to learn Dimbach's system. He gets a year to watch someone else do it and then just grow as a college quarterback. But high recruit, you can see from the clips, he has the ability to, to, to push the ball downfield and uh, also is able to throw on the run as well. So that's Walker Howard. So just to wrap this up, we got Jaden Daniels, Arizona State, transferred Miles Brennan, Garrett Nussmeyer, and then Walker Howard, the first quarterback recruit for uh, Brian Kelly in the new offensive uh, uh, system. I'm sorry, the new offensive staff. Can't talk. So again, I don't think we're going to have an answer during spring practice. Um, I think it's going to go all the way to fall because even if they do have a favorite, you want to keep Daniels and Brennan most likely. But at the same time, I, I could see... If Britton sees the writing on the wall, you can see him transferring somewhere else uh, to go, uh, you know, start this. I think this is last year of college, right? So to go get some playing time somewhere else. But again, I think they're going to do their best to keep him, to keep all four guys entering the fall. But again, different tool sets that each guy has. And with Denbrock's system, again, go watch that video. But with Denbrock's system, he's able to adjust the system to the players that he has. But I want to hear from you. Who do you think is going to win this quarterback competition? Do you expect it to happen in the spring or do you expect it to happen late in the fall before the first game? Let us know in the comments below. And again, this is a competition that we'll be covering and that we'll be we'll be diving into deep, deep excuse me, we'll be diving into some more details. And if you want to see a more in-depth breakdown of each guy, let us know and we'll do our best to get that video out. We do have a Jaden Daniels pretty deep breakdown as far as the skill set he has and what he has to offer. And, and the other guys would be happy to make as well if that's something that is of interest. Let us know. And again, if you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, all the YouTube stuff. It does help uh, with, the, with the small YouTube creator like myself. Anyways, we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.